Welcome at the introduction of the Android Application Security course. This training consists of six topics. The first one is the introduction. The next one is the Android basics. The third topic is Android pen testing basics. After this, we're going to continue with reverse engineering. The fifth topic might be the most interesting. This one is the Android application attack service. So in this topic, we go to learn how to find and exploit different vulnerabilities, which can be there in the different parts of the Android architecture. Next to these five topics, you can also practice with real-world examples in the Android Hacking Labs, which are freely available on Mobile Hacking Lab as well, and also, also matching the Android application attack service. After you followed this course and you mastered the Hacking Labs, you are ready to apply for the certified Android Pen Tester exam. And let's also give you a quick introduction about the trainings of Mobile Hacking Lab based on the Android architecture. So this training, Android Application Security, is mainly focused on the application part, or at least what kind of vulnerabilities there are in the Android applications and maybe also in the Android framework. And we also going to release a mobile hacking training, which focuses more on mobile red teaming. And next we have the native libraries and exploitation of the native libraries is more a scope of the userland fuzzing and exploitation training. And we will also have a kernel fuzzing and exploitation training, which will specifically focus on vulnerabilities in the Linux kernel, which is also the kernel which is used by Android. So within this application security training, first you will get some explanation about the Android basics, so the same picture about the Android architecture, so that you know which different layers there are and how they are used globally. Then we will continue with the Android pen testing basics. So part of this is the host software setup. What do you need on your machine or on your virtual machine? The Android testing lab setup. So you can use an Android device which is virtual and included in the mobile hacking lab platform or you can choose maybe to use a physical device. Then one of the pen testing basics is intercepting network traffic. The most common tool for this is Burp Suite. After we know how to do this, we will continue with reverse engineering. So how can you reverse engineer an Android app? So usually packaged as an APK or AAB file. And then we continue with dynamic instrumentation. So how can you dynamically instrument an Android app during runtime? The most common used tool for this is Frida. And also for the pen testing part, OWASP, the Open Web Application Security Project, has a nice section for mobile, the mobile application security which we will also use during the attack server. So the next part is reverse engineering. So in the reverse engineering part, we will explain a little bit more in detail how an Android application, for example, is different compared to an Java application and how you can decompile an Android app. And we will use some tools to make this easy for you. Then one of the most important topics is the application attack service. So based on the different layers of the Android operating system or the different attack factors, we will teach you how to exploit them and how to find vulnerabilities. So in the process communication related uh, layer of Android, which is mainly export of activities, services, and broadcast receivers, data storage issues, platform issues, which are specifically for Android, like deep links and web views. And the last section is code issues. So within Android, you can use a local SQL database, for example. And within that database, of course, you can introduce SQL injection. And also there are different bad code practices, which will expose your app for vulnerabilities. So this is in short, the Android application security training. And in addition, if you go to the Mobile Hacking Lab website and then the Hacking Labs, there are also a lot of different Android Hacking Labs related to different vulnerabilities. So you can try them for free or you can buy a lab subscription. And then you can also practice, for example, if you want to practice how you can exploit a service on Android, you can try this cyclic scanner lab. We will also publish the exam for this course. So after you master the labs and the training, you can also subscribe for the exam. And to give you a little bit more detail about the course, so the course will exist of five sections an introduction the android basics mainly focusing on the architecture android pen testing basics reverse engineering the attack service with a lot of nice labs that's about the training hope you will continue with the next parts and eventually of course we also hope that you will subscribe for the exam and that you will all pass it so good luck with the next sections